This match review, this next one, comes to us uh, from Mr. Rumble Roses, who has almost 2k hours in the game, 1.9 to be exact. Um, 1.95 to be even more exact. So almost double that uh, general hour pool that I expect most people to have good macro and micro and macro sense. Um, playing Skull Merchant, which despite the fact that she's not really like an A tier killer, she's a very, very solid killer that does not require a lot of mechanical input to get value out of. So she's really, really solid. Very nice killer to kind of like, you know, plug and play. Uh, but do keep in mind, she has a very, despite the fact that she has a very, very low skill floor, she has a very firm skill ceiling. So you may be just out perked or out beat <laughs> by better survivors and you can't really like do much about it because of the limitations of your character. Uh, you're on Fractured Cowshed, which used to be more infamously one of the worst killer maps uh, in the game, but it got nerfed a while back. Uh, it has a fairly sizable dead zone on one side of the map, but otherwise still has a lot of pallets. Uh, that side that has the shack all the way up to the top left of the map um, is a very, very dense area of resources, which especially on a character uh, that does, at the end of the day, does eventually still have to get the M1, even if they can get the injury for free. Um, and this does create some nasty situations for you. Um, I'm going to say look at your add-ons because interestingly enough, like I was mentioning before we got into this, uh, this is a Chaos Shuffle match review. So this is a, <laughs> a match review from a, a, a very, very long time ago. So it's a, just a, a wee bit uh, out of date, perhaps. Um, but for that reason, we will not be looking at the perks, but only the add-ons. Okay, you're using, pardon the... I just went a little bit. So this is the the noise this noise generator. The uh, this is the oblivious one. And what is this one? <laughs> These might be my glasses. This is the undetectable increased duration one. Um, I don't the 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 brown noise uh, uh, generator. I've seen people that play this character use. Um, I don't think it's like a top three item, but I see a lot of people use it. So. Um, that's probably okay. The extended undetectable, um, I think it's one of those ones where I don't think it's a bad pick, but I just think that like the um, other stuff like the geographical readout, the um, um, their brown is really good. The, the ultrasonic speaker, which reduces the duration of the immunity of consecutive scan line hits. Yeah, 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 ultrasonic speaker. Thank you guys. <laughs> Sorry, you were not faster than the delay. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I still appreciate it. Um, yeah, those are other options you can run. Yeah, just just have just just go to the Twitch mainframe, beat them up. That way you can be first. You'll be better at words for that too. Words on stream, you'll be fast as lightning. But um, yeah, th those would be other options. Obviously, I can't comment on your build because it's chaos shuffle, so that's not a thing. Uh, so let's go. Ooh, I got lightborn. Fuck yeah. Okay, so first off, immediately, I don't know how we have a, a takeaway 10 seconds in, but we do. Um, takeaway 10 seconds in. Uh, drones are best used in high traffic areas. Um, the whole like drop a drone to patrol a specific gen thing is kind of like old merchant. Typically what you want to do is you want to put uh, drones in high traffic areas where people are going to be chasing are often like uh, like a main building or like uh, like a very useful tile. Because um, while somebody's, you know, obviously just sitting there below it, it doesn't do anything anymore. And also they can just disable it if it's right by the gen. So by um, putting it in high traffic areas where people are going to be moving, you guarantee scans, which is what you should be doing. So use it more that way. Also, thank you for the uh, lurk, which I appreciate it. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Hydrate, thank you. Oh, the Nancy apparently has got no miller. Yeah, interesting. There's a whole gameplay flow of like, the whole gameplay flow of uh, Merchant now. Is it like hold down a three gen or hold down specific gens? My obsession. It's forced people into lose lose situations by either eating claw traps or eating M1s. And essentially having kind of yeah, like, um, part of chase, pressure, I wouldn't say pressure, easy chases, but very, I, um, kind of like not. Autopilot also comes off kind of rude, but you know what I'm saying. Like, you create lose-lose situations that survivors can't do much about by taking scans or taking... Please, it's... Okay. I love how survivors will do that. When they don't see Lightborn, they're like, maybe if I just keep binding them to work. avoid a flashlight. Yeah, like, someone with a flashlight. There you go. Actually... 
They already got that gen done. Yo, Sim, thank you for getting the sub to Wookie. I appreciate it. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you. Welcome in, friend. Make sure you say thank you if you're still currently present. That was very kind. I say honestly, this ain't too bad of a deal, I think. Yeah, the, yeah, what Pickle said is like, you, they do unfortunately now know that you have uh, Lightburn pretty easily. Because you just showed it off very, very early. So that is something to take into account. Oh, Mr. David. How are you doing, good sir? Yeah, he's gonna get that power. Yeah, you're not really. You're, uh, you're kind of. I'm not trying to keep hard. There you go. There you go. There you go. You should have done that earlier, but you're not really using your drones to like force lose lose situations and chases. You're kind of using it almost like old merchant, where you're just using it to keep track of like specific areas, which is not that. That's old merchant. That's not. That's an old version of this character. I wouldn't be using it for that. Like this? Yeah, exactly. This is great because either like. He was gonna take the claw or he was gonna take the M1. Like either way you win here. <laughs> just, just the will running in the background. Oh, you should have got that, but you're a little a little too over those. What islands do I use? Uh, film reel, the, no the vanishing box, um, blurry photos, nice. I, I don't know how people feel about the notebook. I used to like the notebook, but I I feel like I've heard a lot of unknown mains kind of like stopped using that after like the character kind of lost popularity a bit, and it was only mostly played by their mains. You've also committed this chase for a really really long time on this, David. Okay, so like this chase with David. Uh, let's see, we're at 403. It's kind of, I usually can just scan this, but. Yeah, your chase with David is about two minutes, a minute and a half to two minutes, give or take. Match time is gen time. Gen's unaided by um, perks, items, add ons are only 90 seconds. So committing to a chase for almost two minutes is uh, definitely vastly overshooting that. Uh, chases in Dead by Daylight need to be on average 30 to 40 seconds. If it starts getting 50 plus seconds and you don't have a, a, a down in the in the horizon for you, um, take an injury, kick some pallets, and then try to go find somebody else because match time is gen time. Well, uh, Rev actually was starting and trying to upkeep a... Um, a unknown streaky yesterday. So, uh, if you want to see unknown gameplay, Rev's secondary is unknown. Their main is Trickster, but they secondary unknown. So, they also play Scroll Mudget, funnily enough. So, oh, I know stuff about her. Rest me, it's okay. It's not. I, I I try not to. I try very hard not to like make it like a roast thing. I really want it. Like, I really try hard with the match to make it just like, hey, this is what you can improve on. This is what you can do better. Because I want to help, but like it's very easy to come off like that way, and I try my best not to. But you know, well, howdy, Alan. only human after all. And now the day would be better. Yeah, it's just like I think just me for me in particular. I just try to be really careful about like. It's like it's already I, I talk I talked about this before, but it's like it's already really hard to like send in a match review because like first it's stage fright, right? Because there's a lot of people here, there's a lot of people on the YouTube. Ooh, good infectious value. I, I take advantage of that. No! You You should be slugging here. Everybody on the team is injured, and you just got two infectious procs on two people. No! You should definitely be using or taking advantage of this. Even if you didn't have infectious and you didn't actually see them. Like, you probably should have slugged here. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's already like a big stage right thing to even submit a match review. Um, but it's even worse because it's like, you're submitting matches where you failed, like you had a bad time. So not only are you, um, having to get over stage right, you're having to get over the fact that you're gonna get, you're gonna get uh, criticism. Even if it's constructive criticism, criticism is still like a scary thing, you know? Um. 
So I try to be the best I can about, like, keeping it as constructive as possible. I'm trying to, like, I'm, I'm just, like, a, like a, like a goofy guy. I try to make jokes here and there. But even then, like, a joke can come off the wrong way, too. So it's just, like, it's a very delicate thing, I guess, is the point I'm trying to make. Someone knew those. These guys aren't really getting rid of the uh, drones either, which they absolutely should to put them on cooldown. Which is not good on their part. I also used to get very, very tilted playing Killer. Long time ago, I had very, very severe anger issues. I'd say very, very severe. That makes it sound like I was like island or something but then I, I was just i was just so was like i said get very very tilted very very pissy obsession by any um, means, but took a lot of time to get over it it also just anything. runs in my family too like, like anger issues running my family real bad so it's something i had to overcome my obsession gets rescued the rescuer becomes a new obsession <laughs> So whoever rescues is David will be my new obsession. And I've got to hopefully, you know, get to a point in time where it's like, hey, you know, the, uh... Hey, no. You know, this person is now on death hook. I think 15 to 20 you know, seconds is a little too... I think... F well, just for the hit? Yeah, for just for the hit, yeah. That, that, yeah. Just for a hit, yeah. I... Yeah. If you haven't got anything in 15 seconds, yeah, I agree. Yeah. For some reason, I thought I read that as down. I was like, get it down in 15 those, seconds. Uh, like, what are you, a nurse? <laughs> and now it's the island. Play another game to make me feel better? Yeah. I think people see that content creators play despite the fact that they're angry. And that's because they get paid to do it, you know? Like, it's like, it's be, it'd be like getting mad at your, at work, you know? Like, you just, you just push through. I still think ultimately if the game makes you mad consistently, you should find another game to play that doesn't aggra aggravate you as much, you know? But like, getting aggravated once in a while is totally fine, right? Did he get sit down? No, I think it was in there. Now I got to find Alon. Get him hooked. You got somebody dead at two gems, which is good. No, I didn't want I didn't want to put a drone there. Once per hour count as once in a while. Uh help me out. What were we talking about happening once per hour? I can answer that accurately. My favorite streamer? Oh, oh I appreciate that. Thank you. There's a lot of streamers. <laughs> There's a lot. I, I appreciate that. That's back, but I'm, in the, I'm, in the thing. I'm glad me being dumb on the internet is like something people like a lot. Getting aggravated once per hour? Uh, in the game? I don't know. It's like the DVD a lot can happen. That is naturally frustrating. I think if it's like every other game or like every game, yeah. But I would say, like, I don't know, there are days I can play, like, two hours of DVD without getting, like, annoyed at a match or something like that. Other days, it's like, you know. Damn it. It is more like that where it's like, once an hour, I'll get mad. But. I don't know, usually when I get mad these days, I just try to, like, make it funny. Like today, where we had, like, nonstop balance landed gen greeting gamers, I'm like, what are you doing? Nice what is happening? I'm getting out perked! Like, I try to make it like a, a funny song and dance, you know? But at least it's entertaining. It's funny. Don't ever run an LWT wall this way, especially as an M1 killer. Running LWT walls, LWT walls are one of the weakest loops in the uh, general loops that spawn in Dead by Daylight. Uh, and they're very easy to nice circumvent, one. but if you run them that way, they're, they're essentially just going to keep fast vaulting and fast vaulting until they get uh, the windows blocked. So in this situation, you should run the the L wall of the L wall T wall to the right counterclockwise and not to the left. 
The reason you do this is because if you run it to the right counterclockwise, they cannot come back and fast fault like this Allen's about to do, which makes them uh, essentially play the T of the T wall, which is extremely dangerous. It's a 50 50. Uh, so run it the opposite way. Um, that one. I right, start streaming because how many people stream it? Yeah, I mean, I think the big problem is that with the DVD streaming community in general with starting streaming is like people like if you don't enjoy this game or get mad at it a lot a lot a lot i don't i please don't stream it <laughs> please don't stream it there's so many like like people that start streaming dbd and it's just them just being mad in their swift or being mad on killer for like four hours a day and it's like like I said, it's okay to get mad sometimes. That's okay. But like, if it's just like four hours of content of you just like raging, like, like people, one of the best stream advice, pieces of advice I have ever gotten is like, often people watch your stream or YouTube as an escape. So imagine if you're mad or frustrated at like your boss or a, a stressful situation in your life, and to wind down from you being frustrated, you just tune into somebody else who's frustrated. It's just going to keep the energy going. You know? Oh, they were running Acidic Blood on Ripley's Watch? That's got to be a meme, right? I'm running the add-on that's really bugged and does not work right now. If you're in a situation like that, where somebody is running up against you and you're taking advantage of your field of view on console, just back up. Just scoot back. Because the reason it works is because they're under you and because you don't have the as ease the ease of movement that mouse and keyboard has. They're just taking advantage of that. But if you back up, you can see them clearly. It's Zachary Backery. Awesome. It's been a while, friend. How are you? I saw your meme you posted on Twitter. I thought it was pretty funny. The one where you're like, oh, yeah, me joining a call just to go to bed. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It does gonna probably be a time waster. You're just putting him right on top of David, that's really funny. <laughs> Stop playing it. Yeah, I definitely don't broadcast you being that angry, Nod. Stop. I, someone. I definitely don't do that. Is that Meg or is that Nancy? Definitely don't do that. Uh, I don't want you. Why not? She's injured. Go for it. We already have two people dead. Only it matters. Yeah, I don't know. You end up in a dangerous zone too, especially in the online internet space. Where if you're like, oh, please if you there. just please choose to make like a song to dance about you being angry all the time, you end up like at the risk of becoming a all cow. You don't want that. Twerking bunch, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm living. Wow, skull merchants are you bad know what? people. Oh, pfft, yeah. You know what's funny? Every time you come in, I half expect, oh yeah, I have wow, wigs. Because that's like usually your second message. A lot of the time that you come into the chat, you're like, oh, hey, how are you? You're like, I'm good. Oh, I have barbecue wigs. <laughs> like I almost always expect that as like the second message. <laughs> It's gotten to the point where if, like, I'm, like, driving by a wing stop, I'm like, I wonder if Zach got wings today. <laughs> wings are good. Wings are delicious. Oh, yeah, I haven't had them forever. That's theirs. Door, door. Yeah. Dude, Mori? Oh, let me take a peek. Like, seriously, skull merchants, bad people. They are not. Oops, sorry about like, that. Bruh. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah, I don't like this as much as this other one. Some, yeah, I've seen this. People, man. If it doesn't need to be said, obviously playing a specific character in a video game does not uh, make you a bad person in real life. That does not work that way. So. Like, like, like you fucking lost to a skull. Haven't had wings in a while? You Mid is time. I caught you slacking. Time to get yeah, back on the wing train. Just like any other killer. And everything like that. You know what I just remembered the other day? That I, I just remember now that I remembered? I remembered that yeah, I remembered they, something. You yeah. think for the water, which I appreciate it. They got it out. Um, I 
Remember when you, you, me, and Reaper used to play zombies? You remember that way back in the day? I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that was saying. I was like, oh yeah, that did happen. Zach was there too, right? Didn't Zach, the other Zach play a lot? I forgot that that era even happened. <laughs> so weird. So in terms of your main takeaways, uh, first off, like I said, uh, drones are mostly used to be put in high traffic areas. Uh, that way you can force um, uh, scan lines to, in order to get claw traps on the survivors. Uh, you're mostly kind of just putting them over gens. Um, luckily, this team was not very uh, cognizant about disabling them, but all you're doing is kind of giving them free disables and not really setting yourself up for success. The way you used it uh, on the David at that long wall, short wall, excellent. Do more of that, because essentially he had to either take the claw or run into you. And he took the claw and then you downed him. It was great. Do more of that, not the like, I'm just going to set the this over gen. That's old school. Gen. Don't do that as much. Um, second takeaway that I had that I do recall is that you uh, had plenty of situations where you had most of the team injured and you would down people, but not take that opportunity to go uh, to slog and leave them on the ground and go for somebody else, especially up here at like the top left of the map. Uh, there was that instance where you downed somebody and Infectious told you there were two people right there and you didn't go for the slug, especially when they're injured. You could have had three people down at the same time, which is really, really good and really awful to come back from um, for the other team. So you definitely should have taken advantage of that. Yeah, those would be like the two main things. There's like minor stuff like you were kicking pallets. There wasn't a lot of purposeful kicking, which is kicking pallets on the side that denies the survivor the most resources. Um, So like... For example, back on that chase with the David, uh, you kicked the long wall short wall pallet on the side um, with your back to the wall. You should have rotated it one more time so David's the one who had his back to the wall because the way the way that happened there, you kicked that pallet and you ran out into the rest of the map, which gives him kind of like whatever he wants to work with. But if you kicked it on the other side, he has nothing and it goes down like instantly. So make sure you're doing that more often because that'll definitely help you a lot.